Jeffrey Lord is a real trooper. Um, he is the original. In some ways, I mean, he really is kind of the original arch Trump propagandist. Uh, CNN, which supposedly is a great source of resistance, still feels uh, fit to put this kind of vaguely neo-Confederate disingenuous lunatic on the air. Um, obviously, the wiretap claims have been definitively uh, debunked, or have they? There was a piece of tape that we put out the other day in the interest of intellectual honesty, which might indicate that there actually was a tape uh, with Barack Obama calling the British spy place. But being that as it may, uh, NSA, FBI, intelligence committees, British intelligence, no validity to the nonsense conspiracy theory that Trump tweeted about the wiretap. Jeffrey Lord's not a stupid guy. Check out on CNN how he explains what Trump was doing when he tweeted that insanity out. It was on a, a radio talk show in Birmingham, Alabama today, the Richard Dixon show by name. And we were talking about the tweet about uh, wiretapping and all this sort of thing. And a host said to me that he is talking to his audience and he says, you know, we speak Americanese out here and we know what he meant. What he meant was the FBI was, or somebody was surveilling him, that's what he thinks. He says, we get what he's saying. He says, and all you fancy people up here are, are you know, trying to take this in another direction. Jeff, what you're because arguing then is the FBI and the Justice Department are mistaken for taking the president literally because they don't speak uh, Americanese. <laughs> Americanese because they're so uh, part okay, of Washington Anderson, that I, I, they are actually taking well, the president. I, 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 today, today, I, today, and I today to this, and I have to tell you, this is such a classic Washington story. He blamed, you, you he blamed, blamed Okay, so it's a classic, I don't know if it's a totally classic Washington story because President Obama, who is the only other president of the Twitter age, never tweeted out, George W. Bush, wiretap me. Bad or sick guy. Then the claim was debunked by every single law enforcement and intelligence agency involved. Okay, so that's already a little bit atypical. But Jeffrey Lord's doing something really honest there in a bizarre way. He's reaffirming that Trump supporters, Trump's cadres, the Republican Party, don't give a fuck about the truth. They are the original postmodernists of politics. It's the feeling. Trump feels like he was surveilled by apparently the FBI. That gets morphed into a demented conspiracy tweet about Barack Obama, and his supporters get it because it feels right, and that's American ease. These people do not care about the truth and did not start with Donald Trump. Review the Bush administration. We uh, talked a lot last year about whether to take things literal and ironic, and I think that's kind of the wrong thing. Really, the, what they do with this American ease is they make language slippery enough so they can make it mean what they need it to mean whenever they need to change the meaning of it. I think that's totally true, and I also think that they do do the game where it, you know, and Trump does that himself. He's a master of throwing know, in the little he things. He tweets that something they say. insane. And then in the end, they said that. I don't know. There was a brilliant legal mind. You have to ask him. There are consequences to making a, you know, crazy cable news addict president. You're calling from a 215. Hey, everybody. Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump is a bad guy. Believe me. It's true. It is true. And you can subscribe to this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's true.